this is the third application of Ampere's Secretive Law. And in this application, we shall study about the magnetic field due to a toroidal solenoid. So what do we mean by toroidal solenoid? This toroidal solenoid, it is actually a solenoid which went bent in the form of a circle. Okay, so a solenoid which is bending in the form of a ring, okay, is called a toroidal solenoid. Are you getting my point? Like, this is my solenoid and I bend it in the form of a ring. Then you get this type of solenoid which we call a toroidal solenoid. Okay. Now, let us go straight forward to find out the magnetic field due to this toroidal solenoid. Okay. So this is, <clears throat> you know, when you draw a solenoid, a straight or a linear solenoid, it is like this. This is my linear solenoid. Okay. Now, if you bend this solenoid to form a ring, then you will get this type of shape in which this point now, right, become like the center of the toroid. Okay. So these lines represents the tones of a solenoid. Actually, we have many number of tones in the, I mean, in the toroid, but I cannot draw all such tones, but I have shown you just to get some idea about it. Okay. Okay. So now, let us find out what is the magnetic field inside or at the interior of this toroidal solenoid so when i say at the interior it means at this point let's say this is a point p i want to find out what is the magnetic field at this point p due to this toroidal solenoid which carries a current i so because we are using ampere's secretal law so ampere's secretal law as i said it is always applicable when we draw a complete set, uh, you know, a complete loop or a closed loop. Suppose at this point P, I want to determine what is the magnetic field, then I have to draw a closed loop. So this is my closed loop, which is passing through the point P. Okay. So now looking at this point P, this is a, my closed loop. Is this closed loop here enclose any current? Does it enclose any current? No. So when there is no current, then from Ampere's secretal law, we have V dot dl is equals to mu naught times the current enclosed by the loop. Okay. But because the current enclosed by the loop at the interior point it is zero, I here is zero. So therefore, this line integral v dot dl here will be zero. So if v dot dl is zero, it means the magnetic field inside or at the interior of the toroid will be zero. Right? So please note down this point that the magnetic field at the interior of the toroid is zero. Okay? Next. Again, if you look at any point Q, which is at the exterior of the solenoid. So again, to find the magnetic field at a point P, which is outside the toroid, then I have to draw a, you know, a, a loop passing through this point Q. So if you remember, in a linear solenoid, Okay, we have seen that the magnetic field outside the solenoid 
it is always equals to zero. So because this toroid it is just you know uh, uh, you know it is like a, a linear solenoid only, but the exception is that we are bending it to form a circle. So if you bend this to form a circle, so this points mean it is a point Q. So at point Q, what happens to the magnetic field? Zero. So there is no magnetic field as well at the exterior point of a toroid. Okay? Alright. Now, so if there are no magnetic field at the interior of the solenoid and at the exterior of the solenoid, so where do the magnetic field exist in a toroid? So the magnetic field, right, exists in a toroid, let's say it is at this point. Let's say this is a point PQR. So at the point R, right, let's say this is at a distance small r from the center of the toroid. I'll drop this part here. Okay. Now I want to know what is the magnetic field at a point r due to this toroid. Okay. Now, just like before, usually we have to draw a closed loop, right? Which is passing through this, you know, to this observation point. And my observation point it is capital R, so this is my closed loop. Now, tell me, is this closed loop that I have considered here, right? Does it enclose any current or not? Okay, the answer is yes. Okay, if it is yes, then how much is the current enclosed by the by this closed loop which is passing through r okay so for that right we will do like this again because we know from ampere secretal law that this v dot dl is equals to mu naught times the total current enclosed by the by the loop okay now, how much is the total current which is enclosed by this closed loop? Okay, so the total current here, it is equals to the number of turns per unit length of the toroid times the length of the toroid. What is the total length of the toroid? Let's say this over length here, I mean this complete length here, let's say this L and times the current due to each turn because each turn here it is having a current i in each turn what is the current it is i okay so this line integral b dot dl it is equals to this much or you can say v dl cos theta is equals to mu naught n what is l l it is actually the length of this close so the length of this closed part here, it means it is the circumference of the circle having a radius small r. So instead of L, I'll write 2 pi r and then times i. Okay. Now, again, on the right hand side, this theta, it is actually the angles between B and DL. So when you look at this loop, Okay, we found that the angle between B and DL, if I consider this is my DL over this loop, then the directions of this will be in this way. And similarly, the magnetic field at this point will be tangent to this part, that means along the same direction. So both B and DL are pointing in the same direction, so hence the angle theta in this case will be zero. So if theta is 0, then we know cos 0 is 1, so 1 times BL will be just B dl is equals to mu naught m times 2 pi r i. Or taking this uh, B outside because it is constant over this closed loop, so I'll integrate only dl. Now, 
what is this integrations of dl so when you integrate this dl you are actually finding the total uh, length of the loop integrations of dl that mean you are finding the total length of this dotted loop here so the, the total length of this dotted loop it is nothing but it is the circumference of the loop that is 2 pi r so instead of this i will write 2 pi r instead of integration dl i'll write 2 pi r so this is mu naught and then 2 pi r on the right times i now 2 pi r from the left 2 pi r from the right okay cancel and what we have is i think this n i miss out so i'll write n here so what we have is the magnetic field at the interior of the toroid now it is equals to mu naught n this is the expressions of the magnetic field at the interior of the toroidal solenoid. Okay, which is equals to mu naught n times i. Okay, so please remember here that the magnetic field outside the toroid it is equals to zero, and the magnetic field at the interior of the you know toroid also is zero. But the magnetic field it is present just only right inside the toroid and that value is equals to mu naught n times i. Okay, so this is all about the applications of Ampere's circuital law. And in the next video, we shall see right uh, about new topics, which is like the force on a moving charge in a magnetic field. So for that, we will stop till here and we shall see in the next video.